Hi, this is Davida Sapphire with the League of Geeks, and I'm here to review Starfest this weekend. Friday, we went to pick up our passes and went to check the dinner room and the, t- and the activities room. The activities room held the author's tables, such groups as the 501st and SG-14. This is also where you got your autographs and your photos with the stars. Say nothing really much went on. Um, they had karaoke, but both karaoke's were cancelled, which was the Klingon karaoke and the Test of Bravery. Awesomely, the people from the Test of Bravery found a way around um, what had happened with um, the person who was supposed to help them with the karaoke. They did this by taking their phones and hooking up to the equipment that was there already and making a line with the phones. Once you got your once you got your song you wanted to sing, you took your phone up and they put it in a line. Then when your phone came up, it was your turn to sing. I found it to be ingenious and awesome on on the part of the people who do the test of bravery. You guys are awesome and that was really cool. Friday we also went to check out the speed dating, which we don't have video or photo of because the people didn't want us to take photo and there was only three people six people three ladies and three guys and the speed dating which usually it would be more in past star saturday we went to the dinner room where there were way more people um way more vendors this time than there usually is a star fest there was new ones also and they had some of the coolest newest items um that are not even out yet which was really awesome there wasn't as many people in the dealer's room as there was in past Starfests. Uh, because usually when you go through the dealer's room, you can't stop and people are pushing you and you have a hard time looking at the merchandise. That was not so this year. This year, it was much emptier and much freer. And you could stop and browse um, what was being sold. And um, it was kind of better and uh, I think nicer, even though I did miss... Um, I did miss the whole, all the people, more people being around, but it was kind of nice to have more freer space. Uh, then after that we went to attend, I think it was called a Batleth, a children's event, Batleth, where they teach children how to fight with the Batleths. And, um, it was, it was cute to see the children, uh, Tried to figure out how to use the basses because some of them were too young to figure it out. It was cute. Then one of the highlights of my con was getting to meet Michael Doran and Connor Tanier, which I got to take a photo with them and meet them, and it was really great. Then we went to see triple hockey, where it's um, kids playing hockey with tribbles, and that's also cute. One of the awesome things that was there this year was movie cars, which was really awesome to see. I love always seeing those movie cars. They had a few few more this year, even though a few were missing. They had some new ones um, that you can see here in the video. It, it re- they were really awesome. One of the biggest places where you could find people was the gaming room, and the Klingon Fest. Klingon Fest was. Um, really popular this year and the room was never empty that's where I spent most of my time this year because that was where a lot of things were going on I spent my time there in the activities room and some of it in the main event and a lot of it at the tri- um, a lot of it at the dealer's room because you could find some awesome cosplayers at the dealer's room uh, and that was where most of the people were uh, the ho- I didn't really go into the horror room, but um, from what I could see when I was passing it, it was pretty awesome. There was also the art show and model show. The art show was cool because they had different types of, um, all kinds of different types of items that they didn't have 
last year and they had some new people. Some of the old people weren't there, which kind of made me sad, but one of the new people that I love, well, I don't think they're new, but they had way more this year, was the crocheted characters from various different sci-fi shows, which I found cute. And, um, bottle cup jewelry, which was awesome, which they had a lot of sci-fi themes in the bottle cup jewelry. They had one with a TARDIS with a little charm in it that was like was a sonic screwdriver which was made by Twisted Mama's Bottle Cup Jewelry. There was also a lot of awesome paintings and stuff in there um, which I would have loved to get a hold of. Um, it, it was really really awesome. One of the things I didn't like from this con was the whole way of doom because trying to get through that 20 times in one day was um, not so pleasant. I am excited that it's going to be back at Marriott and we'll be able to go back to normal and not have to go through the whole way of doom. Uh, I want to thank everybody who gave me the opportunity and gave us the opportunity to do press. Michelle, uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity to do the press. Hopefully you guys want us back next year. It was really awesome and it was better than I was expecting. Uh, I loved this surface a lot. It, I wasn't expecting much going in because of the hotel because I've been there before. But um, you guys did a really great job. Thank you, thank you very much. You outdid yourselves. Uh, it was great and it was just, it felt more personal this year because of how less there was. But it was really great and I look forward to see, seeing and going back to Starfish next year at the Marriott. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys on my next event. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and thank you.